guys Assalamualaikum guys Dabro pozolo pai cobrit na my kanal na youtube Lucy Asuria spasiba repjata uh, jadi kali ini guys aku mau mereaction suatu drone rusia nih guys setelah ya kan rudal antar benuanya setelah uh, apa kereta antar benuanya guys ya dan sekarang ada drone apakah drone ini antar benua juga guys ternyata drone yang satu ini tuh guys bikin ya sok uh, negara Amerika berarti ini drone ya memiliki kemampuan ledakan yang luar biasa banget ini tuh adalah first time aku jadi aku sebelumnya belum nonton guys so kita langsung aja yuk lihat seperti apa sih videonya let's get started here we go Oke, okay, kita ulang. Guys, ya. Seriusan, guys. Udah suaranya ini banget, ya. Hancur. Hancur, saya. Hancur berkeping-keping. Drone. Oh. The Russian long-range attack and reconnaissance drone prototype, the Altius, will undergo Tuliat test guys, flights drone. with guided munitions this year. Sputnik News reported, quoting a source. Jadi hati-hati guys ya sama drone yang kalian lihat di langit itu bisa jadi itu adalah. The tests will include a range of guided weapons, Tembakan yang luar biasa. Tanks, light armored equipment, simulated concentrations of enemy troops, and artillery positions, according to the state-owned Russian news outlet. The Altius prototype test flights are planned for summer, with the first polygon airstrikes against range targets, guided air-to-ground weapons including high-precision guided missiles, and smart bombs designed for drones, the unnamed source revealed. Uh. Kameranya 360 derajat, guys. Wow. It was further revealed that that prototype has already been flight tested utilizing unguided free fall bombs. Altius has been under development by the Kazan based Simonov and Euros since 2011. With a wingspan of 28.5 meters, 93.5 feet, and a payload carrying capacity of 6 tons, 13,228 pounds, the unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, is often compared to Northrop Grumman's RQ-4 Global Hawk. Altius's flight ceiling maxes out at 12,000 meters, 39,370 feet, to 15,000 meters, 49,212 feet, compared to the Global Hawk's 18,200 meters. Wow. However, the Russian drone still has a long way to go in terms of its flight radius of 10,000 kilometers, 6,214 miles, where the American UAV far outstrips it with a range of 22,000 kilometers, 13,670 miles, flight range. Developers claim that the armed version of the drone can stay in the air in autonomous mode for up to 48 hours while carrying a two-ton weapons payload. The reconnaissance version, which is propelled by two 500 horsepower engines, carries an assortment of sensors such as electro-optical infrared. Recently, a Russian company is building the country's first ever specialized factory solely for manufacturing unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. It plans to mass produce military drones like those deployed by the Russian. Gila cuy. Ini drone-nya benar-benar luar biasa banget, guys. Bisa jadi antar benua juga, guys, ya. 
uh, kemampuan kameranya aja udah 360 derajat cuy ya bener-bener aduh ini luar biasa keren under construction in the town of Dubna near Moscow will cost at least 4 billion rubles 52 million dollars and will create jobs for more than 1500 people berapa rubel ya harganya say it will be built in record time with the launch of production scheduled for November 2021 the company called Kronstadt Group is the developer and manufacturer of the Anakitsuas also known as the Orion Huh. This medium altitude drone, which is capable of flying for a whole day, can carry a payload of up to 200 kilograms and has already seen action in the Middle East. In Syria, hmm. the Anakadits has been used to strike terrorist targets from Islamic State. Kameranya. <laughs> Russia has been involved in the Syrian civil war since 2015 when it was invited by the Damascus government, led by President Bashar Assad, to help fight against insurgency in the country. In the years since Moscow's involvement, pro-government forces regained a lot of ground once occupied by terrorist forces. As well as Kronstadt, many other Russian enterprises in the military-industrial complex are developing drones for deployment on the front lines. <sighs> Jadi bisa example, jadi mata-mata juga guys ini dronenya. Ya. Up with defense company Mikoyan to build the Akonik B, which will have a top speed of 1000 kilometers per hour. Another aerospace company called OKB Sokol has developed a UAV named Altius due to be delivered to the Russian army this year. On February 21st, it was reported that the Anakadits had been used in 38 missions in Syria, including 17 strikes on militant targets. Last year, Moscow news agency TASS revealed that over 900 Russian drones have entered into active service since 2012. The town chosen to host the drone factory, Dubna, is famous in Russia for being the home of the country's Joint Institute for Nuclear Research. It is also the location of MK Biraduga, an aerospace company mainly focused on the production of missiles. Bisa jadi ini tuh akan dijadikan juga untuk pembawa rudal nuklir juga guys. Masih dalam observasi gitu. <sighs> Luar biasa. On the other hand, Russia's Akotnik unmanned combat air vehicle, Yuka, has reportedly been flight tested with air-to-air -air missiles for the first time. The recent series of weapons trials apparently saw the unmanned aircraft used in a fighter interceptor role and were reported by Russia's state-run media outlet. The outlet said <sighs> that the tests had taken place over the Ashalik training range in southwestern Russia. The Akotnik was said to have been outfitted with simulated air-to-air -air missiles, OMS, Kalian lagi guys. Halo, selamat Anda memenangkan. Inert weapons with both infrared and radar homing seeker heads, but without engines and warheads. This indicates that the tests did not involve any live missile launches. The report also doesn't say if any live or simulated aerial targets were used in the testing and if so, how the appropriate targeting information was obtained by the Akotnik. The Ria Novosti piece doesn't specify what types of missiles were involved in the reported tests either. It did mention that they included infrared and radar homing types, which could point to the drone having carried both short range and medium to long range jumps. Ooh. With the Akotnik still in the early phase of its evaluation, any missile armament likely comprise types that are already in the inventory or at least at an advanced stage of development. Russia's primary close combat arms at present are the R-73 and R-74M family, and the country is also working on the K-74M2 dogfighting missile, which is intended for deployment from the internal quick-launch weapons base of the Su-57 Felon fighter jet. The K-74M2, which features a lock-on after launch, lol, mode, beginning its flight under inertial control, before achieving an in-flight lock-on, would be a suitable candidate for internal carriage by the Akotnik. In terms of medium range arms, Russia is currently focused on the R-77 and improved R-77-1, while a more capable K-77M is also under test. Pantas saja guys siapa senjata Rusia tu laris manis atau enggak dibeli sama negara-negara lain tu? And perhaps the Akotnik too. You can read more about the K-77M and other new long-range Russian arm programs here. 
Rhea Novosti's report also notes that previous Akonnik test flights had focused exclusively on its flight qualities and the functionality of the flying wing drone's primary onboard systems. Ah, ini tuh drone juga guys. The drone Aku pikir drone-nya mirip ini ya sama Sukhoi guys. Bespolotny complex, URBK, or strike reconnaissance unmanned complex, program with Sukhoi as the project lead. After breaking cover during initial ground trials in January 2019, the Akotnik, meaning hunter in Russian, was first flown in August of that year at Akchubinsk in the Astrakhan region. Ya, drone-nya luar biasa ya, memicu ledakan yang wah bisa menghancur ya menghancurkan uh, sesuatu itu hancur lebur guys berkeping-keping jadi puing-puing ya uh, ya ampun ya guys so uh, mungkin kita lebih kayak berhati-hati aja sama drone ya karena drone itu juga punya kamera gitu jadi uh, bisa jadi mereka bisa uh, selain bisa jadi uh, senjata mereka juga bisa menjadi spy gitu ya ampun ya itu dipergunakan untuk mempertahankan guys ya uh, negara mereka apa so, kalau kalian suka juga klik like and share di sosial media anda dan terima kasih guys buat kunjungan kalian thanks for watching and see you bye pakah